Hello Aries and welcome to your July 2020 forecast reading. For those of you who don't know who I am, I am Intuitive Renee and I am here to bring you guidance, inspiration, motivation and a little bit of hope in your life. And I do this once a month with these videos where I create a little bit of a longer video for each sign of the zodiac giving you inspiration for the month ahead. And then on Mondays we do Terrascopes and on Fridays we do Pick a Card. So there's a lot of content for you to keep you inspired and to keep you motivated. All I ask from you in return is for a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and I love hearing from you. So comments below would be amazing. So Aries, we are looking at July 2020 and this is for everybody who has Aries Sun, Aries Moon, Aries Rising or as I like to say, Aries Interest. <laughs> so if you are thinking about or wanting to get some insight or some guidance on it, somebody you know who happens to be an Aries, then that's absolutely fine. If you just drawn to Aries, if you're just fascinated by Aries Zodiac, then it's absolutely fine. May you get the inspiration and the guidance that you need and a message for you as well from in this video. So on the table in front of me at the moment, I have a few tarot and oracle decks that I'm going to be using for this feature. Um, so this is for July 2020. And the first deck that we're going to be using is the Wisdom of the Oracle. So we're going to be using this one to get us an overall theme for the month ahead. So we're getting a theme for the month of July to see what's in store for July, what's coming up for July, what you can expect in July. Um, so, so the theme will be around a card from there. Then when we get into the detail of the month, when we get into the specifics of the month of July, we're going to be using the Centennial Tarot love this deck i love the feel of it it's such a such a gorgeous feel so we're going to be using centennial tarot to get the details for the month and the way that i've done it this month i do change it up all the time but the way that i've done it this month is i've broken the month up into the beginning the middle and the end into three sections so for the first 10 days we're looking at the first to the 10th we will draw some cards then we will do the 11th to the 20th and we will draw some cards and then we'll do the 21st to the 31st and we'll draw cards so we'll draw cards three times from the Centennial Terror. And then we will finish the, the, the video off drawing a card from the Animal Kingdom Oracle cards to get a message from the Animal Kingdom. So that's what how we're going to play it out today. And uh, let's get straight into it. So we're starting off with the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. And um, as I'm shuffling, as I'm shuffling the cards, we're asking that the cards that we draw today be exactly the cards that all Aries need for the month of July. May it give us the inspiration, the guidance, the motivation, and the hope that we need. Let us know the obstacles and the challenges that we may need to face and how best to overcome them. Okay. Asking from this particular deck right now, we're wanting to know the theme. What is the overall theme? What is the overall feeling, emotion? for the month of July that all Aries need to know about, need to be aware of, and what will we be dealing with. I think I've shuffled in. So we're just drawing one. <laughs> I love it. The question is why? So Aries, for the month of July, you are going to be questioning everything. Um, you are going to be asking everything. Why? Why is it like that? Why, why did that happen? Why did that person say that? Why do I feel this way? Why do I why do I react the way I do? Why, 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 why? Okay. So, um, and, and what's interesting, if we look at this particular card, so here we have this lady who's approaching a book. The book looks like it's got wings. It looks like it's lonely. She's reaching to the book because the book contains the answers. So it's not just about asking the question why, but it's about finding the answer. I like it. So Aries, we know Aries have an inquisitive mind. We also know Aries have short attention spans. I can say that because I'm an Aries. <laughs> so I know exactly what it's like to be Aries, short attention span. But I, I do, I'm very inquisitive. I always want to know why. Like, why did that happen? Why did? Why is that happening in the universe? Why did that person say that? Why do I feel this way? Why don't I feel in a particular way? Okay, so this is our theme and I'm saying our theme because remember it's for me as well this is our theme for the month why <laughs> why is it our theme for the month <laughs> because spirit says so <laughs> all right I'm now going to pick up the tarot and this is the centennial tarot 
and um, we're now drawing cards just for the first 10 days. So the 1st to the 10th of July 2020 for all Aries. What is the detail? Because the tarot is going to give us the detail, the detail of what we can expect and experience during this time period. So from the 1st to the 10th of July 2020 for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Interest. What do Aries need to know? What kind of energy will they be dealing with? What is the detail that's going to be happening? What? How are they going to respond? What do they need to know? Shuffle the earth. So I'm taking two cards. You see me smiling already. <laughs> so Aries, we have the tower. So for the first 10 days of the month, from the first to the 10th of July, for the first 10 days of the month, it's going to feel as if everything's falling apart, <laughs> which is why we have to ask the question why. It's going to feel as if you're getting nowhere slowly. It's going to feel as if there's just chaos and mayhem all around you. You are going to feel as if you don't know which way is up, which way is down, what's going on. There's going to be, there's no way, no no nice way of putting it, chaos around you, okay? So strap yourself in and get ready for it. But you know what? It, this has to happen because... Again, in true Aries style, if we don't have chaos and mayhem, we can be quite oblivion. We can be quite like, ah, oh, there's nothing there, nothing to worry about, not concerned about anything, okay? So there is going to be this opportunity, there is going to be this, this feeling of turmoil and chaos around you. But remember, we're asking the questions why this month. So the second card that we've got, I love this. Okay, it's so the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is boredom. You know, if, if I had to sum this card up in one word, it would be boredom. So Aries, we now completely understand why we have to have what in the tarot community, what is known as a tower moment, okay, when we suddenly have the understanding for why we need to rebuild and why we need the drama, why we need all of that. And it's because you're a little bit bored. All right. So maybe life has been a little bit disinteresting. Maybe life has been a little bit too monotonous. Maybe life has just not been exciting enough. So the universe is going to say, well, fine, Aries, I can help you with that. Have a lightning bolt. Let's shatter your existence. Let's shatter your world. You are feeling a little bit bored. That'll fix your boredom. <laughs> Why? <laughs> right. So when this happens, you need to ask yourself, why am I feeling so bored? Why? Am I feeling so disinterested, so disempowered, so dis, okay? So Aries, your first 10 days of July are going to be interesting. You're going to have some challenges, some unexpected obstacles, because that's what the tower is. It's unexpected. As much as we are giving you forewarning now, when it happens, it's still going to be unexpected. And every time, every time you have a tower moment, it's because you're bored. It's because you're not focused. And if you know what, if you really, if we look at this card, okay? Let me just make sure I hold it clearly. So he's sitting at the tree. He's got his arms crossed. He's like not interested in the world, not interested in anybody. He's got these three cups down here, but he's bored of that. He's he's tried, tasted, tested. They're probably empty now. And he's like, Ugh. he doesn't have the inclination. He doesn't have the motivation. But look what's coming out of nowhere, all right? From nowhere comes an opportunity. From nowhere comes a full cup of amazement all right and he's so disinterested he's not even seeing it he's not even seeing it so that's why the universe has to be wham bam thank you ma'am let's have some chaos and you've got to ask yourself why why am i bored why am i so disinterested why am i not participating the way that i should be okay right so aries that's the first 10 days I am going to leave these standing on the table here in front of me where I can see them and I will refer back to them. But now we're going to go on to the second 10-day cycle, which is the 11th to the 20th. I have to make sure I'm saying the right words. 11th to the 20th of July. So Aries, let's see what's going to happen in the middle of the month. What can you expect? What can you look out for? What is going to be the, the stage after the tower and boredom moment? Let's see what we get. Okay, so we're drawing two cards again, one from there, and one from there. So Aries, very, very interesting, we have the devil. So 
The devil is about obsessions. The devil is about addictions. The devil is about being so focused on one thing that we completely neglect, forget, and, and not even pay any attention to anything else in our lives. So you must remember with the first 10 days being the way that they were, we need to make sure that in the second 10 day period, in this middle of the month, that we're not focused on that. Okay? You, you must make sure that you're not focused on the tower moment. You need to make sure that you are reminding yourself why. Why is this happening to me? Why? Why do I need these lessons right now? Why do I need this? How do I start noticing the gifts and the opportunities that are coming my way? Okay, so the devil card is reminding you that there's going to be temptations. There's going to be you being so blindly focused that you neglect other areas of your life. And we mustn't do that. And connected to that <laughs> is the king of swords. So swords has got to do with our thinking, our intellect, the stuff that happens here. Not the stuff that happens in the heart, the stuff that happens in the head. So you during that uh, 11th to the 20th of July the king of swords is telling you that you have got a sharp wit a sharp inte intell intellect your mind is working the way it needs to and that is possibly the challenge and that's possibly why we are going to be so focused and obsessed on the wrong things okay so I also think this king of swords is the why <laughs> every time we ask ourselves why it's the king of swords moment you know the other thing that's quite interesting about the king of swords is he has the answers you know just like our book has the answers the king of swords has the answers he knows exactly what he's getting himself into he knows exactly what's happening in his world okay so king of swords he knows exactly what's going on he's asking the questions but he has the answers he's creating a strategic plan he, he's he's got it all figured out he's not bored and disinterested okay but he may be struggling with focus and it's now struggling on focus on the opposite end because we started the month off not really focused on anything we then <laughs> our attention was was grabbed okay with the tower moment our attention was grabbed we are now maybe too sorry wrong card we are now maybe too focused okay so now we're being so focal and so obsessed that we are forgetting all the other things so we need to make sure that we've got our wits about us we've got to make sure that we're not neglecting other important areas of our life while we ask the question why I mean, this is so interesting Aries right so I'm going to leave those two on the table here in front of me and we're now picking up the deck again and now we're looking at the 21st to the 31st of July so towards the end of the month what does Aries need to know what's going to happen what's the focal point what's significant what's the important bit that Aries needs to be aware of let's see what we get right taking one card right from the beginning and I'm going to take that one over there sure it's a big month Aries we have the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is one of those cards it's it's otherwise known as the karmic wheel it, it also says to you that there's nothing you can do to stop the wheel from turning the wheel is just going to turn and turn and turn you just happen to be a passenger you can't speed it up you can't slow it down, you can't stop it, and you can't get off. <laughs> when you're in that wheel of fortune mode, you just have to go with the flow, okay? But it's also saying to you that there will be a positive outcome because that's that's what this card is saying. It's the wheel of fortune, it's the karmic wheel. It's telling you that you have to just go through these motions, but trust and believe that there will be a positive outcome at the end. So when you get towards the end of July, you are going to be feeling like it's okay, all right? You're not going to be feeling so haggard and so, like, shocked out of your skin like you were in the beginning of the month you are going to be feeling a little bit more confident and a little bit more secure and I think that's the key word here okay why have we had to have everything that we've needed to so that we can have a wheel of fortune moment so that we can know that everything's going to work out perfectly <laughs> and connected to that we have the Hierophant the Hierophant is the card of uh, he's the leader he's the religious leader he's the spiritual leader he's the one who we go to for guidance and advice he's the one who teaches 
the way of life. He teaches morals. He teaches beliefs. He helps us stay on the road. Okay. He helps us stay on. And it's very interesting how many major arcana cards we have in this reading for Aries for July 2020. But looking at our last 10 days of the month from the 21st to the 31st of July, everything's going to make sense. Everything's going to fall into place. Every, there's going to be this understanding that, you know what, we needed those experiences. Where's my Where's my tower? We needed this tower moment. We needed to be completely disinterested, completely, we needed to be shaken at our core. Let's put it to that way. We needed that experience so that we can become the leader, the inspirer, the motivator that we want to be because that's who Aries are. So ask the questions why, find the answers and know that it's all going to be okay. All right. So Aries, July is going to be a big month for us. Can't wait. Can't wait to see what unfolds and what happens. All right. So I'm now picking up the Animal Kingdom Oracle card. So we're asking now which spirit animal is working with us for the month of July. Which spirit animal is going to be rightly by our side as we go through this journey in July? And what is the message that the spirit animal has for us? What is the spirit animal want us to know how will it be guiding us, how will it be helping us, and how will it be helping us to navigate and to get through unscathed, because we want to be unscathed. <laughs> Let's see. Right, Aries, we have elephant energy. And at the bottom, it says family commitments. Let me see if I can hold it. There we go, that you can read family commitments. So elephant energy, family commitments, you know, I do think that it's important that we be on the right track with regards to our families. You know, whatever your role is within the family, whether you're the mother, the father, the child, whether you are the aunt, the uncle, the granny or the granddad, it doesn't matter, the cousin even. Recognizing the importance of family, recognize, you know, and I do think Aries are the leaders, Aries are the ones that are always initiating and driving and that's exactly what elephant energy does so aries work with elephant energy during the month let that strong powerful elephant energy through you know elephants fear nothing maybe a little mouse but they fear nothing really they have the strength the courage and the conviction they stand together as a family unit and anything that they do they do together as a family each one always taking care of the other and understand that during the month of july when you face all these things that you're going to face you're not doing it on your own you're not doing it for yourself it's not happening to you it's happening so that you and your family can have the better life and the better existence that, the, that you all deserve so work as an elephant work with the elephant energy make sure that your family commitments are number one and maybe that's where things are going to be shaken up a little bit have you maybe neglected your family a little bit have you maybe not been as family focused as you should be Elephant energy. All right. So Aries, that is your July 2020 forecast reading. I can't wait. I can't wait to see how it's all going to unfold and what's going to happen. If you did enjoy this video, please can I have a thumbs up and a comment from you below would be amazing. If you watched your previous month's video and you've got a comment about that, go and leave it there for me too. That would be awesome to see how um, June worked out for you. And remember, if you need additional guidance during the month, on Mondays we have Terrascopes and on Fridays we have Picker Cards. So from my heart to yours, until we meet again, you take care.